Hello and welcome to my video about Wi-Fi Man in the Middle Attack. In this video I will be explaining what Wi-Fi Man in the Middle Attack is, how it works, and how to avoid it. So, as we all know, we connect to internet using our laptops, our smartphones, or any other communication devices that support Wi-Fi. And we do that at home, school, offices, uh, coffee shops, the list goes on. Um, Basically, your computer remembers all these networks that you connect to, and every time you turn it on, it sends probes out and looking for those networks. And if the router access point is present, it answers it, and you connect. This is a very convenient feature that your device has. Well, this convenient feature has a big price. Why? There's a guy with a wireless pineapple router waiting for those probes and every time he sees a probe he says oh I'm the guy you're looking for now connect to me and your device thinks that this is the router it's looking for and it connects to it at that point that's your gateway for internet and all your traffic is going through that router and this guy is monitoring everything and he can launch any kind of attack there are a gazillion attacks that he can launch well in this example today we are doing a fake website attack what does that mean I have some websites they look real but they're fake you enter your credentials I extract them what we need is a USB adapter, an OpenWRD router, and one of those operating systems. It could be Windows 7, Linux, or Macs with PuTTY and with SCP. The steps are simple. I configure the router. I redirect all the traffic, port 80, and other traffic to, my, to itself. It becomes a web server. It has PHP installed on it. And then I download and modify the websites that I want you to log in. And then in the end, I write a PHP script that extracts your credentials. So let's go quickly and see how um, my page redirect.php works. It checks the URL that you enter and it checks for the keywords. In this line it checks for Facebook word. So no matter what is in your URL, if there is a word Facebook, it will take you to the facebook.html page. Same thing with Twitter and same thing with JWU. Now let's open the browser and let's try to go to facebook.com. Notice Facebook.html, that's my page. Now I can say as password123, login, beautiful. Same thing with Twitter. I can say twit123 pass123. And finally, email.jw.edu a b c one two three test one two three beautiful now let's quickly go and cat our file and here you can see facebook and twitter and email.jw.ed now how to avoid this attack there are a couple of things that you can do you can check your network connection list and see what networks you're connected to or my favorite you can start pinging the website and see what does it respond it responds 1.1 so we all know facebook is not hosted on your router um, but there's actually a class aip address that facebook has that it should respond if it was a legit connection um, or you can use a antivirus or a firewall advanced software that will help you in some way or shape or form to say to determine that you are being hacked <coughs> 
Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and next time you will be alert connecting to a Wi-Fi connection. Stay tuned for more in-depth videos.